My babo! It seems Karma has found Michalin Damase's address sooner than many expected, while the side chick and mistress brigade thought she would be on her Alicia Keys tip by securing a married man, getting him to marry her, and living happily ever after with him. Their hopes and dreams were shattered the very same way Michali's tibia was shattered by her married boyfriend. Allegedly! Michali recently took to her Instagram to say, Good morning. Thank you so much for the lovely messages and well wishes. I'm fine, my loves. I won't be getting into the details of what happened, but thank God I'm back home now in the care of my family and focusing on my recovery. Have a beautiful Sunday. Love, Michali. This comes after one of her closest friends, Zola Joka, exposed her while she was in a vulnerable position. Zola Joka posted Michali during her quote-unquote fall down the stairs, which many deemed as questionable behavior, as they feel that Zola should have been tending to her friend's wounds instead of posting the quote-unquote accident on social media. But wait, the plot thickens as a close source revealed that Michali's leg got broken during a jaw-droppingly disturbing altercation that took place in her and her married boyfriend's fat and set home, which she came back to after a night out with her friend Zola Joka. Michali, aka Mary Jane Light, has been a hot topic over the past year, mainly due to being a mistress to an old married businessman named Leroy Sidambe. Leroy Sidambe is married to Mary Jane Sidambe, whom he violated and cheated on throughout the marriage, allegedly. So, one slim on a day, the original Mary Jane decided to give Ntate Leroy a taste of his own medicine and cheated on him. But like the wise woman that she is, she didn't just cheat on him with any Tom, Dick and Harry J. She cheated on him with the Khrutman, who's wealthier than Leroy. Allegedly! <laughs> Leroy saw flames and decided to gualicela Mary Jane with a younger version of her, aka Mary Jane Light. Mary Jane Light felt invincible when Leroy began to flaunt her to the world, forgetting that what he did to his wife could also be done to her. Hence, there exists Footage of Leroy grabbing Mary Jane Light aggressively in public, which has led many to wonder what he does to her behind closed doors. Perhaps Zola Choka was caught between a rock and Kuruman. She was witnessing her friend being violated and felt helpless, so she decided to post what she could in the moment as a cry for help or to alert the world about the danger that her friend lives in. So in case something happens to Michali or even to her as a key witness, people know who's responsible. Remember how Babes Wadumo managed to expose abusive mampincha during an Instagram live? Okay. Or maybe she was just being a shady friend who's tired of Misali being perceived as perfect when she's actually a battered mistress. Thus, she wanted to expose her in an unflattering state the same way Mandisa exposed Lee Kuzwayo poop drunk in Dubai. Pella, your worst enemies are in your circle. It's highly unlikely for one to find a genuine friend 
in someone who aspires to be just like them. Hence, Mithali's followers have been warning Mithali about Zola Joka for a while now, as there have been several encounters where Zola would behave in a dodgy manner towards Mithali's sugar daddy, or where she would say or do some shady shit during their Instagram lives together. Whether Zola was being shady or simply being a good friend, Mithali said, I don't care at them, no matter what, and unfollowed her fast quick in a hurry. I don't care at them. No matter what. So please. Sometimes it's not ngoba abantu besuke bekuphaphela mabe kwaisa ngomuntu oseduze kwakho. Sometimes the outsider looking in has a clearer and better view than the person in the situation. Other times Bad things happen to you because of your bad actions. You can't use another woman's tears as a foundation for your relationship or extramarital affair and expect divine protection. And this goes for both Mithali and Leroy, as well as Bonke of Febelina Imsaben Wonke Chigelele Abakabanga Nabenza Njengabo. The universe is dealing with them. Jengoba usisi evelelo ama pati anga wakondi. Kantine nyoga zababazi zipi zizi kukutana ni mali atwele ngayo. Allegedly! <laughs> Good luck, Bofebelina. And we wish our fave, Sali Sals, a speedy recovery. Mwaaa! Thanks, my angel. And the better dolls, thanks. Oh, I think Sanors. So as funny as it makes my love, as funny as so, okay, nice like a son, Lira and I are like alcoholics of, uh, of the world. Would you be loud? Eh, shit. Okay, I don't buy loud. I don't want to be loud. And also, come on, get live. Exactly. See yourself Would you out. talk too much? Eh, shit. I don't want to take a son. Mama, I could too much. Mama, I could take too much. Hi, bro, guys. Would I'm too forward? Would that I can? No. No, oh, dad. Dad. <laughs> This one is too forward. Put that on your hand, Sunaiza. Hi, I love what? I love Zola, not the loud mass in the background. Who bad love? Yay, yay. Can anybody say guys into entrance? Can anyone say beautiful? Entrance? Can anyone say beautiful? Can anyone say beautiful? That's the beauty. Can anyone say beautiful? Can anyone say beautiful? And that's when you say hello, but you say hello. Cheers, my F. My F the manga. In turn, in turn the manga. Okay, my S sister. Oh, your S. So, so super chat, super chat, super chat. Please, listen to Lamba. Show the fake account. No, I'm talking Michelle. I'm taking a walk too. Guys, I'm ending this live. I'm no, way. No. no, 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 no. Please, Michelle Obama. No, Tommy, it's fine. I'm, I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm dancing.